<clears throat> okay. We are recording. <clears throat> what is going on, guys? My name is Leon Levon, and I am here in quarantine, just chilling right now in my room, uh, which I suppose is what you guys have been doing as well. Uh, when you're not, you know, at school virtually, you're not at the grocery store, you're not taking care of things that just need to be taken care of around the house. We've all just kind of been chilling at our house. Uh, I would say mentally I'm not doing all too well. We've been going through a pretty tumultuous time socially in my country. Uh, and not only that, whenever we do go out, we have to worry about the coronavirus. So when you go to the grocery store, everyone has a mask on. And for good reason, you know, no one wants to get sick. But it just... It's just strange. It's just a really strange time in the world right now. So I thought what would cheer me up is to make a get ready with me video in which, you know, I put on some of my favorite clothes, you know, I put on some of my favorite shoes. Um, I get shower and shave for the day, you know, and just pretend like it's a normal day in which the world is not completely on fire. So uh, let's get right into it. All right. So now we're in my bathroom. And the first thing we're going to do is put on my contacts because I can't see shit right now. Make sure it's on the right position. That's another thing. A lot of people be cussing in their videos, and I think I do too. Uh, I think in my first video it was really scripted, so I wasn't really, you know, cussing that much, but or at all. But I hate that little beep, you know, noise that everyone always puts in there. So I'm actually gonna put something else. Uh, it's actually a clip where this guy says, "Watch your profanity." And I always thought it was funny. I saw it on a Vine one, so I'm gonna start using that instead of the stereotypical beep noise. So let's put my other contacts in. That way I can see. Oh my god. Oh. Man, I've been wearing contacts for about like two, three years and I still have trouble putting these in. <laughs> there we go. And now I can see. Voila. Uh, so next, I'm gonna brush my teeth because uh, I hate that grainy feeling you get on your teeth, you know? So we're gonna brush my teeth. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but in my left eye, <laughs> yeah, I, I can actually see it in the visor, but in my left eye, I guess one of my fingers was dirty. Always wash your hands before you put your contacts in. But it's like super red right now. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I must add some on my finger because it is dirty. Oh yeah, and here's another thing about the, uh, the toothbrush I'm using. It's electric. And I actually like the electric one better because I feel like it gets more all in your teeth. You know, you can get really good back there and stuff like that. And it just does an overall better cleaning job than I could have ever done, you know, manually just with a regular toothbrush. Plus, it's electric and it recharges. So I'm not to put like some stupid double-A uh, or triple-A batteries that I have to worry about all the time. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start brushing my teeth. I remember one time in Spanish, uh, we had to make like a, oh, what do you do in your, uh, for your daily routine? And I actually had to make a sort of get ready with me uh, video. I remember and I had to talk about like, oh, what I did all day. So uh, this is actually really familiar to me. Now I'm done brushing my teeth and what I like to do is uh, brush my tongue afterwards because you know I don't know if you've ever seen pictures of uh, I think it's called carpet tongue it is disgusting I'm gonna put some pictures on right now it, it, it's nasty so I'm not trying to get that so I'm about to brush my tongue too all right that's said and done then after that I'm gonna floss I like using these little disposable ones because um, you know, it has this small little amount of floss and that's it. You know, you don't have to worry about using too much or using too little. So it just, it, it just works, in my opinion. Ah, there we go. Gotta get real back there. Get all the crap out. After that, we're gonna do some mouthwash because we are not dirty. My friend uses Listerine, but I like Colgate. Um, I guess I'm just a Colgate man, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Bottoms up. <laughs> Whew, burn my mouth. Burn my mouth. So yeah, after uh, you know, I get my teeth all squeaky clean and whatnot. Uh, I like to wash my face, so I'm gonna take my mic off for this portion, and uh, I'll probably just put some audio over, you know, have it be silent, you know, with some music in the background, because, you know, I don't wanna get my, my brand new mic all dirty. All right, so now we got my face looking clean, you know, nice and squeaky clean. So now I'm gonna shave, and the way I do that is I get a hot towel, and just like, you know, some mild, you know, soap that you would use to wash your face with, and uh, 
just apply it to my folds, you know, really open up my pores so that when I drag the razor upon there, it really cuts down on the amount of nicks and like ingrown hairs and whatnot. I mean, it's just really nice and it's a good way to start off the day, if anything. I always like using like the women's, I forget what they're called, but they're the, they're the women's razors. I, I swear to God, I never get any sort of like cuts or any nicks or any like ingrown hairs when I use these. But as soon as I use the men's ones, bro, my skin is looking all types of ways. My neck is looking all types of ways. So I just stick with the women's one. I have zero shame in using these. I swear to God. So now I got my hot towel, you know, it's steaming right now, as hot as I can handle it, or well, as hot as the water can get, because it doesn't really get that hot on my side of town, I notice. Uh, after that, I usually just like to apply it to the neck at first, since I don't really have a big enough towel. Or actually, I never tried it with a big enough towel, but I'm sure I could use a, uh, a bigger towel to cover my face, but it's just easier to get every single spot you know, on my neck and uh, on my cheeks. And, All right, so now I'm going to, uh, you know, put on my shaving cream and, you know, actually start shaving since, you know, I did the hot towel with the uh, the light, you know, mild soap, you know, just to clear up my skin even more so than I already did whenever I washed my face. And of course, yet again, we are using the women's one. I'm telling you right now, every time I use the men's, I always get nicks and stuff, but I use the women's that are meant for like, uh, like, you know, shaving your legs and like body hair and stuff like that. Smooth as silk after I'm done. So uh, I'm going to start doing that now. After I get done shaving, I like to put a little bit of moisturizer on. Uh, it has a little bit of sunscreen in there just to protect from the sun because I do live in Texas where it's always sunny when it's not two out of 12 months of the year. So I'm gonna put that on after my, uh, my pores uh, close up. And then uh, once I'm done in the bathroom, I guess really the only thing now to do is to figure out what I wanna wear today. So uh, I guess, what's the weather right now looking like? If it was a quote unquote normal day, it's pretty sunny outside, probably pretty humid too. So. I probably would wear something pretty lightweight, maybe some jeans if it's not too hot, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Man, I'll tell you one thing right now, I can't wait for it to get cold. I mean, it's not like uh, I'm really gonna be going anywhere, but at least I can start rocking, you know, the, the fresh jackets, you know, all the nice and warm ones that are lined and whatnot. But, you know, for now, if I do wanna wear a jacket today, it's gonna have to be one of the lighter ones. So, you know, that, that kinda sucks, but eh, I guess I'll deal with it. All right, so now that we got all tidied up, we need to uh, pick out a shirt. So let's uh, go to my closet and check that out. So on the left side, we actually have clothes that I wear on a pretty regular basis. But on the right side are all the clothes I have listed on my Depop. Uh, I got tank tops. I got satin bomber jackets with the tiger on the back. Uh, I got windbreakers. I got uh, 80s and 90s shirts. I got color block windbreakers. I even have this... Uh, this pretty funny shirt I saw that's actually an official Oakley shirt. It has a roach on the back. Uh, it says, uh, what does it say? Thermonuclear protection. Yeah. So uh, the link will be in the bio if you do want to buy something off of me that you see, that you like, you know, like maybe this pink bomber, uh, maybe the motocross shirt. Uh, the money that I do make from the Depop will be going back into the channel, you know, just to buy new mics and new gear and stuff like that. Also to uh, put into promotional stuff as well. So. Uh, if you see anything that you like, uh, the link is in the bio if you're interested. All right, so now I need to figure out if I want to wear a t-shirt, if I want to wear like a short sleeve or a long sleeve, you know, I just gotta figure out what I want to do. And I'm thinking I might go with, uh, hmm. Well, I do like purple, you know, that is one of my favorite colors and I love this shirt because it's, it's got like this kind of a uh, silky thing going on, even though it's made out of polyester and nylon. It does get hot to wear this during summer, I'll tell you that right now, but I think I'm gonna go with a button down and now I just need to figure out which one I want to rock. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Uh, I saw this on eBay. Uh, I think it was uh, 20 bucks I got it for. Uh, I would have wore it somewhere, but you know, since the coronavirus happened, I just haven't anywhere to wear it to. So, uh, man, when I saw this on eBay, I knew I had a cop. I knew I had a cop because, I mean, just look at the colors, you know. 
I got plenty of shoes to match it with. It looks great, it's in great condition. There's no wear and tear or anything like that. And it's just really colorful and it just really says, uh, at least says me. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. All right, so since there is a bit of blue on there, I do feel like the, uh, the Hyper Jade Air Commands would uh, match pretty nicely with it. And the uh, Purple Punch Harachis I have here, <laughs> I was about to say Harapis. Uh, <laughs> I feel like those would match too, since there is a bit of purple on there. I think what I'm gonna go with instead are the Reebok pumps. Picking out the Reebok pumps for today's Get Ready With Me video was pretty much a no-brainer, I would say. And it was especially no-brainer to get them for 40 bucks on Depop. I mean, I was really glad in the condition they were already in, but with my uh, restoration efforts and uh, you know my uh, repainting, uh, they're really a versatile shoe that I can wear with a lot of things, and I get plenty of compliments on them in public. Bottoms wise, I think I'm gonna go with uh, some Levi's. I have some 501s here, which are, you know, your standard blue, uh, you know, blue denim Levi's. But I think I'm gonna go with the lighter colored ones since uh, I forget which one, but one of them is vintage and the other one I got from, you know, like a department store. And I like those because, you know, they actually have some more uh, character to them, I would say. You know, they have like, you know, uh, I guess a quote unquote one of one, you know, uh, wash pattern. So they just look nicer in my opinion, if anything. And sometimes the build quality is actually a little better. And now, since I decided that I am gonna go with the lighter ones, I guess I just need to make a decision as to whether I wanna wear the darker colored ones or the lighter colored ones. But uh, I'm of course, you know, gonna reveal that decision whenever I actually show off the entire outfit in its uh, entirety. Now moving on to accessories, uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty sparse selection, if I'm being honest. Uh, all I have are some Casios, which I actually think work really well with a lot of the clothes I have, you know, since they are, uh, I would say, you know, 80s and 90s. Um, it's only the jewelry, I would say, that it's like, yeah, I need, I need to get some more, you know, that way I have a little bit more choice into what I can wear and what I can wear with. Same thing with the sunglasses. I only really have like one style of sunglasses, and honestly, I don't think I'm going to wear any for this outfit. I think I'm just going to go with a, a pretty simple Casio like this one right here. It, it really does go with a lot of things, and I think it just looks nice. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, aside from me awkwardly posing myself in front of the camera. I really did enjoy making this video and it really did, you know, get me in a better mood. And if you enjoyed watching it, please leave me a like. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you can be among the first to know when I post a new video. Oh, and leave a comment too, as channel interaction down in the comments section helps me become more exposed in YouTube's algorithm. Again, that's it for now, and this is Leon Levon signing off. See you in the next video.